here we have type 4 and we're doing just the first example now. In each of the following questions, find the letters that best complete the sentence. The alphabet has been provided to assist you. So here is the question. It says H U is to F W as M E is to something. And you've got to find out what M E is to. So we have to figure out the relationship between H U and F W, basically how they get from HU to FW and once we've worked out the rule or the, the way in which they do it you then apply the same rule to ME to find the answer. So let's try this. Just as in some of the previous types of questions you look at the first letter of this pair and how it gets to the first letter of the second pair. So H to F. Let's see. H if you go backwards to gets to F. So we can put a little minus 2 perhaps. Then you find out what this M would change to by going backwards 2. You do the exact same rule to the first letter of, of ME. So M backwards 2 is K. So the first letter of the answer should be K. Then to find out the second letter of the answer you do the second letters of each pair and go from U to W. So let's see, U actually goes forward to get to W and it's forward 2. So to find out what E becomes, you have to go forward 2 from E. So from E, 1, 2, forward becomes G. So the answer is KG and it's as easy as that. Here's another type 4 example. In each of the following questions, Find the letters that best complete the sentence. The alphabet has been provided to assist you. You'll also notice that we have a sample multiple choice answer, and you'll see why in a second. So if we try to do this question in the same way that we usually do, by finding how we get from B to W, and then how we get from D to Y, well let's just try that. To get from B to W, so B back 1, two, three, four, five, back five. To get from D to Y, we go back one, two, three, four, five, also back five. So applying the same rules to G A, back five from G, we get one, two, three, four, five, we get a B, and then back five from A, we get one, two, three, four, five, we get V. So our answer using the old method would be B V. Now look here, BV doesn't appear on the answer sheet, so that means that there must be some other method of getting from BD to WY. Now let me just explain another method that they sometimes use in this type of question. If you look here, I've drawn a red line which splits the alphabet into two equal parts, the middle two letters of the alphabet being M and N. Now let's look here. If we look here, B is the second letter from the start of the alphabet and Y is the second letter from the end of the alphabet. Now notice here that there's also a slight difference in this because usually they ask you to, ha to find how the first letter of the first pair relates to the first letter of the second pair but you can see here that we're looking at how the first letter of the first pair relates to the second letter of the second pair. So just to go over that again, B is the second letter from the start of the alphabet and Y is the second letter from the end. So B's partner letter is Y. Now, to find our answer we have to go from G and find the partner letter for G and that will be the second letter of our answer. Now, the partner letter for G. Now G is the seventh from the start of the alphabet. So its partner letter must be seventh from the end of the alphabet. And now the seventh letter from the end of the alphabet is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, T. So we know that the second letter of our answer is T. Now, because we found the relationship between B and Y, so how we got from 